So now let's talk about a very important concept of so-called diffusion lens. We are looking at the example of carburization. Again, carburization means you are driving carbon into the material. Let's for simplicity assume its original concentration carbon is C0, which means deep within the material it always stays at C0. Zero. And from previously, we, this is our analytical solution. CS is surface, we fixed. And the error function, what people find is if the whole error function equals 0.5, then the kind of that factor Z is roughly 0.5, roughly, only roughly. Okay, I put a approximate sign over there. So what that means is if this whole thing, this whole error function is 0.5, what happens to Cxt? This whole error function is 0.5, the Cxt would be, we still write Cs here, right? With This is different, Cs minus C0 times 0.5, which means divided by 2. And from here, we can further simplify to, do you see here? The negative and negative for zero become positive. Cs minus half of Cs become half of Cs. Okay, so when error function is 0.5, my concentration is half of, or midway between my initial and surface concentration from here. And when that occurs, what happens to the inside of the error function? When the error function is 0.5 from, we said Z, which is this whole thing, this X over 2 times square root of DT is roughly 0.5. What does that mean? It means X is roughly square root of dt okay again let's check what's the unit of d we said diffusion coefficient it has a strange unit of centimeter square per second and then you for that d times t that removes the second term and then centimeter square i have a square root now we go back to meter or centimeter at least from dimension is correct, right? This equation, people call it roughly diffusion lens, which is a very, very important concept. It, it indicates what? I have a sentence. I want you to read to yourself. It indicates first word, very important, approximate. It's not a precise number. Remember, diffusion lens is never a precise number. It's only approximate. It's only an estimation. Estimation of what? Of so-called the characteristic lens. Diffusion lens is an approximate characteristic lens. And what does that lens mean? It means within that lens, the material got uh, read, experience or got significant impacted by the diffusion. But bear in mind, it's only a estimation because sometimes you may see diffusion lens defined as two times square root dt or some other number but we are not really concerned whether it's two or four it's only an approximation an estimation of the how deep within the material got impacted by diffusion and we'll talk about this so let's say for our carburization example, our initial concentration is C0. I put high carbon atmosphere, my surface quickly goes to Cs. And let's say if the local concentration increased to half of this value, which is half midway between the bulk and the surface, I call it significantly impact. So we now at T1, how what percent how much of the material got impacted or significantly impacted it's from here all the way to here make sense within here the concentration got 
at least this value are a little bit higher. Make sense? That's what, okay, when we do diffusion for T1. And then, naturally, as you can imagine, when we do it for longer, T2, the impacted region become thicker or deeper. Or put another way, at a deeper location, the concentration increase to the same, what we call the critical. And of course, we do it for even longer, even deeper material got impacted. Make sense? Of course, we have the T1, T2, T3 means the time requested to achieve those concentration profile. And now let's say, for simplicity, T1 corresponds to X1, T2 corresponds to X2. Of course, X2 means, okay, at this location or within this location, the concentration is at least this average value or even higher. Make sense? You see, within X2, the concentration is at least this value or even higher. Beyond this, it's lower. Okay, let's just use this as our criteria. And then, for simplicity, if we say as what we draw, X1 is only roughly half of X2, which is only also X1 is only roughly one third of X3. Okay. So we want to ask, what is the relationship between the T1, T2, and T3? Assuming, again, assuming what? D is a constant. So go back to our diffusion lens concept. What is X1? Do you see X1 mathematically roughly? Always remember it's roughly. Square root of DT1. What about X2? X2 is roughly square root of DT2. What about X3? Similar. And then remember what would already do we have? We already kind of, okay, X1 is half of X2, one third of X3. So we are going to write something, square root of DT1 is only half of square root of dt2 is only one third of square root of dt3, which means, can you get a relationship? D is constant, so we are going to have t1 is a quarter of t2. What does that mean? It means if I don't change diffusion coefficient, I got a profile at t1. In order to go to t2, I have to what? quadruple my diffusion time. Make sense? In order for my impacted or so-called characteristic depth to double. Similarly, if I want it to be triple, I have to nine times my so-called processing time. If I keep the same diffusion coefficient or the same temperature quite often. 